Um, the best receiver, I mean, look, Keenan Allen, you, you got to go, you got to put him in the top three too, you know, just based on what he uh, has done and from, from a target standpoint in the two games with Thomas Brown calling plays and coming off a, a stellar game, plus with a good matchup against Detroit. So I'll, I'll say those are the top three. All right, Gus Edwards, Jeremy McNichols, and Keenan Allen. Um, yeah, what do, you, what do you think, Dave? What are your top three? Uh, I don't like this week because there are too many question marks and too many what-ifs, especially at running back. McNichols would be my number one if we knew for sure that Eckler and Brian Robinson were out. Eckler had an ugly-looking concussion, so I think he's going to be out. Uh, Brian Robinson, we just don't know. We don't have an update, but let's just say if they're both out, and there's certainly a chance they could both be out, McNichols would be my number one, and I'm not even sure if Gus would be my number two. He barely played in the second half last night against Baltimore. He had negative eight rushing yards in the second half against Baltimore, and it's Baltimore, but it's still like a bad spot. Um, played seven snaps. It was just brutal. Yeah, but he had all the carries, right? So like he didn't play. They barely any of the ran the ball. Down. They were trailing yeah. by two touchdowns. Yeah. So I think right. They so they, they threw the ball eighty one percent of the time in the second half. So if in some crazy world they fall behind against Atlanta which might happen. They just played on Monday night. Their defense got beat up by Baltimore. Who knows how they're going to play flying across the country to sort of the East Coast in Atlanta <laughs> that <laughs> that they could struggle, and then Justin Herbert's got to throw, and they might throw anyway, and, and Gus Edwards really hasn't been great this season. I understand that he's going to get a good opportunity. No question he's the goal line guy, but if Amir Abdul is in the exact same spot that he's in last week where he played almost 90% of the snaps, I would rather pick up Abdullah before Gus Edwards, especially if it's a full PPR league. So I'm going to rank it that way. McNichols one, Amir Abdullah two, Gus Edwards three, honorable mention Keenan Allen because he absolutely should be picked up as number four. Yeah, Abdullah is also interesting because he's 67% rostered, so he's kind of you know, right on that the borderline of what we consider uh, for the waiver wire column in the waiver wire episode. But if Abdullah is still available, he had eight carries for 28 yards. He had five catches for 37 yards and a touchdown against Denver. And of course, he gets a team that's the best against running backs in Kansas City this week on the road on Black Friday. And not only is Kansas City great on, on you know per carry, 3.16 yards per carry to running backs, fourth fewest receiving yards per game allowed to running backs. That's something Denver struggles with, and he took advantage of it. Kansas City is great against pass-catching running backs, but Abdullah played almost every single snap for the Raiders. Did I say something? I'm just happy you're here. Oh, this yeah, is rare, fun, right? Yeah. This is rare for you to be back in Florida. So back in the day when we did our podcast, there, there was <laughs> never any remotes. There was never any live stream didn't exist, anything like that. We were all together in the same room all the time. It was fun. There were hijinks. And like it's it's rare for it to happen these days because you live in New York. So I'm I'm just happy that you're here. I wish Jamie was here too. I and I, you know, I don't want any excuses from you today. You're coming to lunch. Uh, we'll see. I know Dave's a little behind with work today. I made some bad decisions this morning. <laughs> He's coming to lunch. We're going to lunch. I have to buy Jamie lunch. We're going to lunch. Do and Heath. Are Heath. you buying and me lunch? Heath? Not Dave. Wait, yes, Dave. Why Heath? If you're buying me lunch, I'm coming. I don't want to buy everyone lunch. Oh, maybe I'm not going to lunch. <laughs> um, all right. The other thing about this week on the waiver wire is uh, it's. I think it's a good week for the, the shallow league guys because Cedric Tillman's right now in the concussion protocol. He's got the long time to recover, but – Jerry, Judy is 79% rostered. I don't know how I feel about Judy this week. Jamie, how do you feel about him? Because going up against Denver, revenge game, but maybe Sertan covers Jerry, Judy. And then you've got the Packers situation as well. Maybe Christian Watson's available, but I don't know how I feel about that game. It's going to be like 20 degrees on Thanksgiving. So just a quick glance at the shallow league guys, Jamie, because they're, they're a lot. Oh, Michael Pittman. Michael Pittman's another one with Josh Downs, uh, almost certainly out this week. Um, you know, who's if they in your dream world where like some of these guys are actually available in your leagues, who's the one to go get? John o. Smith, if everybody's available. That's okay. a good one. But but are you concerned about just the off? First of all, this whole week could be snowy and super cold. We've got like bad weather coming in this week, beginning Wednesday night. Um, are you worried about that environment on Thursday? Dolphins at the Packers? Yeah, I mean that that's a bad East Coast game. So you know, we could see uh, we could see some snow, um, some snow there. Yeah, you know, Tua, I like what he said. Uh, this is about shattering narratives. Um, I don't think it's going to necessarily happen, but I like the fact that he's, you know, embracing some of the situations that he's had to deal with. But, yeah, uh, you can't always just look one week. You know, sometimes it depends on what your record is. You want to look long term. You know, so if I could pick up John Smith, I'm doing it. Uh, if I could pick up Jerry Judy, I'm doing it. It's it's not the greatest you know setup for either of those two guys. We're just talking about the ones that are most available or least available, but potentially available. 
Um, you mentioned Abdullah. You know, clearly that's a, a good opportunity to try and get someone who's going to be involved in the passing game, so better in PPR than non. Um, I think Gus Edwards is much better than McNichols personally, just because you have two guys that aren't going to catch the ball at all, and one's getting Atlanta, and one is getting Tennessee. So, I mean, if if those are the choices at running back that are available to me, Edwards is uh, a number two running back this week, and McNichols is barely flex. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, right. I mean, if 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 both Robinson and and Eckler are out, Jamie, don't you think McNichols is going to see a huge amount of volume? Whereas we've seen all year from the Chargers that they use multiple running backs week in and week out. They're going to pull Kamani Vidal off the inactive list and use him with Gus Edwards. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the last time we saw the the injury to Brian Robinson, uh, I know he's not on the roster right now, but I would imagine he's going to be back on the roster soon. It was Chris Rodriguez playing more than Jeremy McNichols, so there's no guarantee it's McNichols getting all the work either. 